Hi, in this activity, we will explore the smart home example. This example takes advantage of four computing to monitor and act upon the levels of smoke detected in the home. On part one, we will explore the smart home. Commonly, ISPs deliver data and video over a single coaxial cable. Starting from the attic, a coaxial splitter is used to separate the video signal from the data signal. And you can see two coaxial cables leave the coaxial splitter in the topology shown. And we answer the question, which devices does the coaxial cable connect to? To answer, we see the cable modem connect to the coaxial splitter and the TV. And then the uh, cable modem is connected to the home gateway. The home gateway acts a concentrator and router to all internal home devices. It also provides a web-based interface that allows user to monitor and control uh, various smart home devices. You should note that the home devices can connect to the home gateway through either a wireless or wide connection. And here you see home gateway connected to the cable modem and the smart solar panel by wire connection to show the wireless connection we should click on option references and on the tab so high you click on uh, you un uncheck the high wireless cellular connection then we see many wireless connection to home gateway from other devices. On step two, we will interact with the smart home using the tablet. Now we click on the tablet and open the web browser. Then we enter the IP address of the home gateway. and enter the username of admin and the password admin so after login we see a list of IoT devices for example smart lamp the temperature make matter a smart fan and here the ID of each device and we also see the uh, description for each IoT device. And now we uh, examine the smart door. The smart door is currently unlocked, represented by a green light on its door knob, but it can be locked remotely. We click on the smart door and click on lock. You see the color of the smart door is changed from green to red. So it means the door is locked. We also unlock the door. Now we We'll examine the smoke detector and we can see the smoke level reading provided by the smoke detector is zero and this device cannot be controlled because there is no uh, control button on the smoke detector. Smart devices 
can also be controlled directly by hold down the ALT key and click on it. For example, we can turn on the smart coffee maker by hold the ALT key and click on it. You see, we have just turned on the smart coffee maker. Or we can turn it off by hold the ALT key and click again. So it will be turned off. Now we move on to part 2 for computing in the smart home. The MCU added to the smart home is used to monitor the smoke levels read by the smoke sensor and decide if the house should be ventilated. If the carbon monoxide levels rises above 10.3 units, the MCU is programmed to automatically open the window front door, garage door, and start the fan in high speed. The action is only reverted, close the doors and windows and stop the fan when the carbon monoxide levels drop below one unit. Now on step one, we run the classic car. And here, the classic car, we hold the arm key and click on it. And we can see the smoke from the classic car to the garage door. And we open the tablet. And we can see the smoke detector alarm level is rising. And we see. After the alarm level is over 10.3, the smart door, the garage door, and the smart window open. And the smart fan is running in high speed. Now I stop the car. And you see, uh, all the door closed and the smart fan stopped. I run the car again. And you can see the door open. Then I stop the car. I hold the door close. The smart fan stop. So let's check the MCU programming. And here is a, a loop function. And we see if new value is more than 10, not 10.3, we can edit it 10.3 or as a value that you want. And we we'll stop and we can run. Or maybe we do not use this value. We use maybe. If nine and run then I run the classic car and check for the alarm level is over nine then all the doors open click on the car three six seven nine okay then i stop the car okay and here is the uh, the loop function and we can change the value uh, to open the garage door the front door the window and the, the fan and change the value for closing 
the garage door, the front door and the window or the the fan. We change the value, the new value. The new value variable is the smoke level. Okay, so I close it. So after exploring this uh, activity, we got some reflection. Uh, in uh, this example, for computing was a bad option when uh, process the data uh, between the cloud and uh, fog uh, because uh, the data generated by the smoke uh, sensors were processed and used to make decisions regarding the house air quality. Uh, there's no need to send out sensor data to the cloud for processing because uh, cloud processing would slow down the response time and potentially putting lives in danger. Uh, another problem relates to the internet link here. Yeah? Uh, if the connection to the internet was lost, the entire system would fail putting lives at risk. So that is all for this activity. Thanks for watching.